Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well today we're going to show you how to build this little pop-up search bar from a little question mark icon right here. Really easy to do. We're going to be using the Divi Supreme module to do this today. So let's get started. For this to work today, you need to have Divi Supreme Pro installed. And if we go down to Divi Supreme Pro, you need to make sure that you have your enable Divi pop-up switch to on right here. Once that's saved, save your changes. If you forget this step, this won't work today. So make sure you do this. So let's go to our page. We'll enable the visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down where we want to work. And it doesn't matter too much because we're going to delete this module after we're done. So let's just add a new module, perhaps below here. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. When you add the Supreme Pro, you get these darker blue modules here. And I think there's about 42 of them. And they are a fantastic addition to the Divi theme. So let's use a regular Divi module and create our search box. As you can see, it's put it in there. We'll just style it up a little bit. Put up whatever you want in the placeholder. The placeholder is what appears inside the box. As you can see, I've just written find. In the elements, yeah, I want to show a button. You can not show it and just when they hit the return, it'll search for them. You've got exceptions here as well. You can exclude certain pages if you want to, or all pages. You can also exclude posts if you want to, and exclude categories. I would always exclude uncategorized, because if you've got any draft posts or draft products, you don't really want people to find those. So let's move on. I'm not going to do a background. Let's do go to design, into field. Placeholder color, well, I'm going to make that white because I'm going to give it a bit of a background color. I'm, seeing as we're using this sort of purple motif, I'm going to give it purple, but I'm going to take the opacity down. So it's pretty much see-through, but it's got a bit of a purple hue to it. But of course, this is all up to you. Field text color, we'll keep that white. Focus background color, that's when somebody clicks on it. Let's do the same thing with the blue. And again, I'll pull the opacity down quite a ways. Focus text color. That's when they click on it and start typing. We want that to be white also. You can change your font styles and font weights. All the regular text settings here. Divi has a crazy amount of fonts, so you're never stuck for a font. Of course, you can increase the size and do everything you want. I'm going to leave mine just as is. So let's move on down. Let's go down to the button button and button border color. Well, I guess we'll use that purple color again. And for the text inside it, I want that to be white. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think we're done with our little search box. So let's save our changes. Now what I'm going to do is save this to my Divi library. Right next to the trash icon there, you'll find a little circle icon. Just left click on it. And it'll give you the option to save to a library. Call it whatever you will so you can remember it. Save the library. Okay, now we've got it saved to our library, we can get rid of it. And we want to create the little icon that we're going to use to pop up that little search box. So again, I'm just going to add a new module. It doesn't matter where you do this because we're going to fix position this. I'm going to use the blurb module purely because it's got an icon with it. I don't want a title and I don't want any content. So I'm simply left clicking, dragging and deleting that. Down below it says image and icon. I want to use an icon, a little switch right here, use icon. Go down and find whatever icon works to you. You could use a magnifying glass. I think I'm going to use that little question mark that I used before. There it is. 
as you can see it's put it in there I'm going to go over to design to the image and icon and make it purple and on hover this is common to all, most Divi modules if you hover over where it says the dark net legending of whatever module you're in here these icons will appear hit the little arrow and it'll give you desktop or non hover state which will leave as purple and then when your mouse is on it it'll give you a hover state let's change that to blue that's great now I'm not going to circle the icon doesn't matter where I put it because it's on its own pretty much there icon font size I want to take it down a little bit in size not too much something like that whatever works for you obviously I'm just going to put it back on regular desktop state I'm not making any changes there right so we've got our little icon the only other thing I want to do now is make it fixed position so it stays where it is and you can put it wherever you want but I'm going to put mine in the middle on the left hand side here so let's go over to our advanced tab down to position and I'm going to change it from default to fixed as you can see it's disappeared but it hasn't really it's just thrown it up to the top left of the site there and you've got a grid top left middle right middle right bottom right middle bottom bottom left and middle left which is where I'm going to leave mine it's actually touching the side there so I'm going to roll down a little bit and with the horizontal offset I'm just going to pull it out from the side just a little bit and you can fine tune with your little arrows here great now then we have to make it pop up our little search box that we saved so we need to save this and save the page changes because we need to refresh the page before that little search box will appear in our saved modules so now we've saved let's refresh let's go down I'll just scroll that up a bit with fixed positioning occasionally you'll have trouble getting to a module because it may be overlapped by something else we can probably just get to this one by hitting the cog there yeah we got to that one fine but if you have trouble simply hit your little purple button down at the bottom here on the left hand side this little icon here is wireframe view and that will allow you to view everything as little blocks like this so you can go up and get your little blurb module which is right there in our case today so let's switch it back to desktop version okay well we need to make the pop-up happen and to do that don't forget for this to work you need to switch this to enable Divi pop-up to on and save your changes so we need to go over to our advanced tab in the blurb settings down to visibility scroll down a little bit and you're going to see use pop-up this little button right here we want to switch that to on we want to pop up a layout we want to pop up the layout that we saved now we can select it from our library because we refreshed the page it should appear down the bottom here there it is search we want it to trigger on module click when they click on this module it wants to pop up so that's fine you can have closed pop-up triggers outside the pop-up if they click anywhere outside the search box it'll close which is fine for what we want today they've got all kind of crazy animations uh, just select whatever it is you want to uh, have yours to do and uh, pop-up position center that's absolutely fine it's going to zoom into the center of the screen right there absolute's fine it wants to stay exactly where it is don't want to use full width if you use full width it'll get rid of the menu and everything and just pop up the whole thing in like a new page kind of thing don't need that today pop-up max width is absolutely perfect i find this works on most devices if you're not happy you can change it to whatever you want and of course there's responsive options here if you click on the little cell phone type icon there 
again just by hovering over the dark legending it'll pop up you've got desktop tablet and mobile versions but like I say mine seems to work on most devices so I'm going to leave it just like it is at 680 I'm going to leave show over later on that's just going to make dark out the background a little bit like a light box does you can change that color there if you wish show close button that's fine too you really don't need it for this particular case because if they click anywhere outside the search box it will close and you can place it inside or outside choose your icons here there's plenty to choose from by default it's set on an X which is pretty standard for closing modules and of course you can give it a background color if you want I'm going to leave everything just as it is and I think we should be good to go so let's save we'll save our page changes and we'll exit the visual builder and there's our little button here let's see if it's going to work it's fixed in place so when we scroll up and down the site it stays exactly where it is let's click on it and there's our little search box floating in from the top you can search for whatever you want click anywhere outside of it and it disappears so that is how to create an icon to pop up search box using Divi Supreme modules by the way Divi Supreme has actually given me 10% um, off to give to you guys anybody who wants to use it you can get it from my affiliate link below this video so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day.